Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and happy holidays. I hope that you guys are doing well. In today's video, I wanted to share a holiday gift guide and all of these items are things that are either on my personal wish list or things that I already own and think that they would make great gifts. As you guys know, we're entering holiday season and Overall, you know, the holidays are really a time to spend with family and friends and, you know, break bread and all of that. And gifts are definitely not necessary in order to do that. But I do think that gift giving and receiving gifts can be so fun. So I ended up compiling a list of, I think, 70 items. And I broke them down into seven different categories. So there's a lot of stuff on here. So we can just jump right in. And I think that a PJ set would make a really great gift. I'm completely fine just you know being in t-shirts and shorts to go to sleep but there's something that's just very adult feeling of having a matching pj set and one brand that i came across was cozy earth and i got a pair of pajamas from them so i believe that all of their pjs are made out of bamboo the pajamas are supposed to be more durable more long lasting i will say that they're so soft they feel so good against the skin i've had my eye on a robe from the brand parachute and they have these cotton robes that just even through the screen just look so cozy and just soft along with a robe i think that slippers are just so nice and really cozy too especially in these winter months when it's a bit colder it's just nice to have slippers to walk around the house so i feel like you just can't really go wrong with a pair of nice and cozy slippers so an item that i've heard being talked about a lot is a weighted blanket and this is something that i would love as well i've heard about how weighted blankets can just feel just really nice to go to sleep to it kind of feels like you're getting a hug i have also heard that they can be helpful in terms of anxiety so along with pjs i feel like something else that's very cozy is a lounge set this is something that i during these last two years with working from home and being home all the time i've been wanting lounge sets there's something about being home all the time where we sometimes we end up wearing the clothes that we wore to bed around the house please no one come for me because i know i'm not the only one and the brand skims so i've actually had my eye on that brand for a while i haven't picked up anything from there yet but yeah, their loungewear, it looks it looks nice. Something about working from home all the time. I would notice some days that I would just not drink a lot of water. And having a water bottle, I feel is so nice. Specifically, even one that writes the ounces so you know and you can have a gauge of how much water you're drinking per day. I picked up one from Amazon that is this glass bottle that also has a sleeve over it and i feel like it's a very aesthetically pleasing water bottle for someone who loves tea or coffee i think getting them some sort of tumbler to keep their tea warm during the day would be really nice i saw this tumbler from this brand named yeti that looks like it has a lot of great reviews and someone can simply put you know their tea or their coffee in for the day and it keeps it either hot or cold i think that an apron is something that's just so cute to me i personally want an apron just to kind of motivate me in the kitchen i feel like an apron for someone who loves to cook or someone who's getting into cooking is nice and Honestly, even if the person is not that into cooking, I feel like an apron is just something to grab when they are cooking. I think that a houseplant would make such a great gift. I know that I've been gifted plants in the past. In 2020, my old boss gave me a gift card to the company The Sill, which has a lot of houseplants. And I ended up picking this plant called the ZZ Plant, which also came with a white ceramic planter. And I love this thing. I've had this plant for almost two years at this point and it's been holding up great. I think that if you're giving someone a house plant, just doing some research about a plant that maybe doesn't require as much maintenance because it's that friend who's going to have to look after the plant. I ended up buying myself a laptop tray that I could use when I wanted to work on the couch or you know the days where I just wanted to work in my bed. So I picked up this bamboo tray from Amazon. So the next category is style for that friend who just loves style and fashion and all of that. 
that a nice little tote bag might be a great gift specifically for a friend who was going back to work i actually picked up this bag from oak and fort something about the whole style category is i feel like you kind of have to know <laughs> the person that you're gifting these things to you have to know their style because everyone obviously has different tastes i always think that buying clothes for someone can kind of be a hit or a miss and that's just me personally where i would just feel more comfortable giving someone accessories or jewelry so i think that necklaces can be such a great gift i ended up buying a few necklaces from the brand that adrian bylon or adrian hewton um has and i really love those necklaces and another brand that i've heard a lot about on youtube is majuri i don't actually own any pieces from that company but i have had my eye on some stuff in the past a lot of their pieces are a little bit more expensive so yeah majority would probably be better for someone who is you know very special <laughs> in your life because of the price point being a little bit higher. Earrings can be a great gift too. The brand that I would recommend is this brand called Avu Jewelry and the owner of the store actually hand makes all of her jewelry herself and she's a small business, she's crushing it. I actually have a few earrings from her. The earrings that I'm wearing right now are also from Avu Jewelry so I would definitely recommend it and it's an opportunity to support a small business. And I think that just having even like a small mini bag would be a really great gift too. I personally love little mini bags so a couple of brands that I have seen around that I personally would love to shop from in the future. Uh, the first brand is this one called JW Pie or JWPEI, not exactly sure how it's pronounced. There's also a brand called Source Unknown and I've had my eye on several, several of their bags. For a friend who likes style and fashion, I think getting them something from a vintage store would be a really great gift idea. You know, some people don't like secondhand stuff in general, and some people love it, so I think it really depends on the friend and if the friend has talked about vintage, likes wearing vintage. So a couple of brands that I would recommend, the first one is Vogue Shop, and I have a pair of pants from them which I think are so cool. There's also a brand called Nanine Vintage, and another brand called Persephone Vintage and then lastly I would be remiss to not mention my vintage shop Arawa Vintage so yeah I recommend checking out all of those vintage stores for someone who loves a little bit of vintage a jewelry stand and I saw this jewelry stand on H&M and I think something like that would be a really great gift that someone could put on their dresser in their room and just display their jewelry now as winter is approaching I think that what better than gifting someone a coat and with this one there's so many options there's so many coats around i know that the brand uniqlo has a lot of coats and in their coats they have technology that they use to keep people warm i have one coat from uniqlo there's just so many other brands and i think that getting someone a nice coat that's also warm listen that's what we need in these winter days so along with that i was just talking about uniqlo and they have these undergarments that they call heat tech and it's really great for layering in the winter they have long sleeve shirts they have turtlenecks they have leggings that you pretty much just wear under your clothes so the next category that i have is fitness i had seen the brand the hydro jug and it looks like they have a lot of bigger water bottles and their jugs are very aesthetically pleasing so that is another bonus wireless headphones for someone who's into fitness would be a really great gift for me personally working out with headphones that have all the strings and stuff can just be a little bit annoying at times there's the airpods but for me sometimes those tend to fall out if i'm like being really active the power beats pro wireless earbuds those ones i think are great for working out because they stay pretty firm to your ear i think that would be a great gift and i feel like headphones in general are just great because even if you're not working out you're gonna use your headphones i'm really sad because i was once gifted these headphones and then I actually lost one of them so this is something that's back on my wish list because I would love to have these again. A weighted jump rope could be a cool gift and this is something that can just add to someone's day-to-day -day workouts. I feel like people are always talking about needing new running shoes or just workout shoes. I think that sneakers would make a nice gift and 
there's so many sneakers out there there's so many sneaker brands out there that are great for fitness there's so many times that i've been working out and thought to myself "Ooh, having a workout mat would be really nice right now i came across this brand retrospect that has a lot of workout mats and they have so many different colors they have a handle that you can use to transport it when it comes to workout leggings i've heard so many people talk about lululemon and i've heard that they have a lot of good quality leggings i've had my eye on on lululemon their leggings are a little bit more pricey they're about like 90 ish dollars which is like a lot <laughs> for leggings but for something a little bit more cheaper there's brands from target one other gift that i think would be great is a matching workout set i've wanted new workout clothes for so long and i think that can be super motivating when it comes to working out and there's so many brands nowadays that have workout clothes i saw a few sets on the brand gymshark and then there's also this brand girlfriend collective that had some nice sets resistance bands are also a really nice gift for someone who likes fitness those things really burn on your legs and your hamstrings and all of that so yeah a lot of brands carry them gymshark again you can look on amazon another gift that could be good for the fitness lover is some ankle or or wrist weights I've never tried them myself but I think that that could be good even for someone who's going on a walk or just doing some at-home workouts or going to the gym just adding a little bit more variety to their workouts I saw some from the brand Athleta and they also have just a few other workout accessories if you want to check that out as well and lastly for fitness is a meal prep container set I think this would make a great gift because for someone who's focusing on health and fitness and nutrition that would be great to have little containers that someone can meal prep with and I actually bought this set from Amazon so the next category that we have is beauty and the first item that I think would make a great gift is a skincare brush these brushes are really nice to be able to get a deeper clean when washing your face and I have one skincare brush from the brand called Duval and I was actually able to work with this brand in 2020 and have been using the brush ever since and I really I love how it makes my skin feel and it's one of those things where there's times where I can wash my face and then I'll use the brush and I'm just like wow my skin was not clean at all with just washing my face so my favorite perfume ever is a perfume chance by Chanel and I love that perfume I actually was just gifted this perfume like a few days ago and I was so happy and I used it all throughout college I would always get compliments on it and I just think it smells so bloody good. It smells so good. 100,000% would recommend this perfume. For a long time, I also had my eye on the Replica perfume. I think that these perfumes are just so aesthetically pleasing all of their scents everything is based on a memory a time a moment it's really cool it kind of brings back some nostalgia i have one so far and down the line i would love to pick up some more i came across this black owned brand that sells nail polish and i feel like that would make a cute little gift just some gel nail polish that's a little set so this next gift idea it's probably something that's more for yourself <laughs> or for a close friend or a close relative or for someone who specifically talked about this but a teeth whitening kit and I actually ended up reaching out to this brand called Snow to see if they were interested in working with me and I was able to get one of their whitening kits that I've been using I actually have it let me actually grab it really quickly because I just used it this morning and I can actually show it to you let me take it out of the container it's pretty much an led teeth whitening kit and it comes with a few plugs so you can actually just plug it into your cell phone you plug it into your cell phone and as you can see it has like this blue light and it also comes with four whitening gels i think three of them are like normal strength and then this gold one is extra strength even just using it the five or so times that i've used it i've definitely seen my teeth have a little bit of improvement the more consistently you use it the faster that you see your results and even my mom who's always been you know on me for my teeth has said that she's already seen a little bit of a difference so i've had my eye on clean skin club face wipes for a while these are these biodegradable face wipes that you can use in your daily routine in the morning and the night i'm pretty sure that one side of it is an exfoliant side and one side is just like a cleansing side so they're a lot better for the environment than say paper towels sephora collection has these liquid lipsticks that i love and there's two 
two that I've been using for the last four years. And the first one is called Frozen Strawberry and it's this mauve pink color. And then the second one is called Pretty Auburn and it's this brown color and I actually love mixing the two. It works really great for my skin tone personally. So that's been my favorite lip combination for years. The brand Summer Fridays, I think that I first heard about them in 2020 and a lot of their stuff they have in little sets or little kits which i think is great for gifts so they have this lip butter set which looks really nice and they also have this overnight mask so the last item for beauty i would recommend anything from the brand merit beauty this is actually another brand that i got to work with in 2020 and i honestly loved all of their products merit beauty it's this minimalist beauty brand they don't have an extensive list of products they really just have the staple things that they believe someone could have for that five minute makeup look. Another thing is when you purchase their items online for the first time, you also get this cute little makeup bag and I use that makeup bag all the time. It also makes a really great travel bag for some toiletries. I would recommend they have this complexion stick which is kind of a mix between foundation and concealer. They have a lip gloss, they have a highlighter that's really nice. But yeah, I would just recommend taking a look at their stuff. I think that they are a really cool brand. So the next category is home. The first thing is a tea set and I actually own this set myself. I got it from Amazon and I just think it looks really nice. It's just fun for when you have people over for hosting or if you just want a little cup of tea for yourself a matcha tea set would also be a nice gift for someone who is really into tea i think etsy is an amazing website when it comes to looking for gifts because they have so many things that you can personalize and i came across this personalized coffee slash tea mug that i think would make such a great gift on the center of the mug there's this cork band that the seller will engrave someone's name on it i talked about the brand replica before for perfumes but they also have a lot of candles that I've had my eye on as well when I moved into my new apartment I ended up picking out these amber glass bottles that I thought were great that I could put soap in I could put hand sanitizer lotion you could just do whatever you want with these bottles and I just love how these look I feel like it really kind of elevates a space I've had my eye on a diffuser from this brand called Vitruvi and they have these really nice stone diffusers Diffusers. The one from Vitruvi is a little bit more expensive. I also saw a similar diffuser on Amazon that has a wooden base and it's about like a third of the price. So this gift you would kind of have to know the person's home style and art style but I think an art print would be a nice gift. And in the past I've bought a few art prints from the brand Society6. A lot of the pieces come in frames which I think is nice because if you gift it to someone they don't have to worry about putting it up in a frame. Some vintage shops have some handmade things that aren't quite vintage but they just sell it in the store. And one company that I found that has a lot of nice home decor stuff is this vintage company called Home Union NYC. In their home category some of it is vintage and some of it is handmade. Also when I moved to my apartment I picked out these glass jars that have these bamboo lids and I use them to store all of these different dry foods. I love how they look. I love using them for organization. This fruit bowl that is sold at the Museum of Modern Arts website and it's this ceramic fruit bowl that comes in so many different colors and I personally love it. I have it in pink but they also have it in green, white, yellow, blue. So again I'm not much of a coffee person but I know that some people go crazy for coffee and love some coffee. Sometimes going to a coffee shop or getting coffee every day can definitely add up and be expensive so one gift for someone could be a coffee machine or espresso machine so I know that there is this coffee maker called Mr. Coffee. I think card games could be something fun for someone to have in their house and there's this card game that's not really a card game but it's a game for friends or people in relationships to answer questions and it could be something fun for if you have friends over and you can kind of just get a little bit deep. So the cards are called the Skin Deep Card Game. A ceramic trinket dish could be a cute gift for someone that they can keep in their bathroom, their bedroom, that they could just drop off their rings, necklaces, earrings, all of that. I feel like for a gift, you really can't go wrong with getting someone a mug. One brand that I have come across and 
actually wanted mugs from is the brand Kristen Made, which is a brand by Kristen Johns here on YouTube, and I really like the mugs that she has on her website. I feel like people who have air fryers swear by them and love them. It has been something that I haven't pulled the plug on to get, but something that if I was gifted it or maybe down the line, I would pull the plug and get one for myself. There's so many things that someone can make with an air fryer. I love me some cutting boards. I don't know what it is about a wooden cutting board that just like gets me. <laughs> so again on Etsy, I saw this set of wooden cutting boards. For someone who moved into a new home, I think that a really nice gift would be a set of spice jars and it just looks very uniform. It looks really neat. Sometimes we just get stuff from the store and the outside bottle might just not be that nice. And then along with the spice jars, you can also add on spice jar labels. And Etsy as well has some spice jar labels. So for this next category, we have tech. And I think something that's really functional and useful and something that I use all the time is a cell phone or iPad holder for your desk. It's really nice to be able to put my phone down and it's propped up and I can be watching something that's kind of like more at eye level. I also use it for my iPad and it's really nice to be able to use this stand to write on my iPad. I feel like it's just very functional. It's a small gift but something that's definitely useful. I think a film camera would make a really cool gift depending on the person. Someone who loves photography, who loves capturing moments, and who likes things that are a little bit vintage I think would really love this gift. I feel like a film camera would definitely be for someone who doesn't mind a little like grunge to the item, a little wear and tear because a lot of film cameras that you might pick up are not going to look super new. There's so many different film cameras out there so eBay would definitely be a great place to check out for getting someone a film camera and just from some research it seems like the Canon EOS 6 630 is a really good one but there's honestly so many others and if you have a film camera that you love I'd love if you share what camera model that you have and similar to a film camera I think a Polaroid camera would make a really great gift. I ended up buying myself a Polaroid camera earlier in 2021 I believe and I love it. I have the Fujifilm Instax Mini in the color charcoal. So an alternative to getting someone a Polaroid camera would be an instant photo printer and this is something that a close friend actually has and she has mentioned that she really likes it. It can print out pictures from your cell phone so that would be great for someone who takes a lot of photos on their phone. I didn't actually have this on my list but now that I'm talking about photos I'm remembering that there's also something called chat books where you can select photos from your iPhone and put it all together in a book so that could be a really cool gift too and this is not really like tech or whatever so this is a little bit on the pricier side but for someone who maybe has wanted to start a YouTube channel getting them a camera could be a really nice gift the Canon G7X uh, Mark II could be a good one that's actually the one that I'm using right now I feel like you can't go wrong with a speaker the brand Marshall has really cool Bluetooth speakers that also have like a nice little vintage look to them and I don't own one personally but I did remember that a close friend has one and I remember every time we'd be at her apartment she'd turn it on and we'd just like be dancing all over her apartment but the quality of it was really nice and the sound was great. They are a little bit more on the pricier side but it seems like they have a lot of different models and a lot of different price ranges. A wireless phone charger could be something that's really practical. I know that for me I'm just so bad sometimes with leaving my house and having a low phone battery sometimes you might have your charger but there's nowhere to plug it so this could be really helpful so the last thing with tech and this is actually something that I want is a phone sanitizer I was wondering like hmm is there something that I could just put my phone and my keys in that can just sanitize it so I saw that there are these things called phone sanitizers that you can put your phone in and UV rays kill the germs. So that's something that's on my personal wish list, but sometimes I do wonder, do those things really work? <laughs> like what's the, what's the science behind them and how can you know that they really work? But either way, it's on my personal wish list. I definitely still need to look into how they actually work. So last but not least, I have a category for faith. I'm a Christian and I think that 
naturally I just end up liking or wanting gifts that are faith related so I have a few items on that category and the first one is a journal that also has some scripture on it and throughout and I actually have this journal that I got from Amazon it's this brown leather journal I think it's beautiful and then throughout the journal on the bottom of every single page there's one encouraging scripture I've had my eye on the brand Alabaster Co for a while they pretty much take different books of the Bible and and they creatively design these different books of the Bible with some imagery throughout. Another gift would be a Bible and I just think that this could be a really great gift for maybe someone who's getting into the faith or someone who is already a Christian but just has mentioned wanting a new Bible and if you give someone a Bible and they already have one they can always just pass it down and give it to someone else and the one that I currently have I also picked it up from Amazon it's also a brown leather Bible and then on each page there's a small little section where you can journal along the edges a friend recently told me about this dream planner by this brand Horatio printing and I haven't picked one up myself but she has it and she really Really likes it from what I've seen of it it's a great planner that's also faith-based with encouraging scriptures and moments where you can kind of just like dream and plan with God the last gift of this category is an adult Christian coloring book and it sounds kind of weird but things like painting or coloring can be super relaxing so someone had recommended to me finding a coloring book that was also kind of rooted in scripture so you're coloring but then there's also words around that you color about your identity in Christ and along with that you can also get someone some colored pencils because they might not have some and there's definitely colored pencils on Amazon or even just in your local store like a Walmart or an arts and crafts store. I think it's something that can be therapeutic so I want one myself. Alright guys so those are all of the gifts. I feel like I've been talking for so long but I hope that this video gave you guys some ideas of things that you can gift others or even gift yourself. And as I was about to turn on my camera to film something in my spirit was just saying how I should do a giveaway. I would really love to do a giveaway for you guys. Two subscribers will be able to win and I'm gonna pick at random. So I'm gonna go and look in my description box and star a few items that are eligible that I'm able to send you guys. So thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And I will see you guys in the next one.